Today in our 2013 Chevrolet Express van, we're going to be installing eTrailer.com's Class 4 2-inch trailer hitch receiver. And this is what our hitch is going to look like when it's installed. You are going to be able to see the cross tube and the receiver, but it's tucked up underneath the bumper pretty nicely. It's a Class 4 2-inch by 2-inch receiver, so it's going to be great for all of your towing needs. From bike racks to cargo carriers to trailers, it'll handle just about everything. It uses a 5 8 inch hitch pin and clip. Now one doesn't come included with this hitch, but you can pick one up here at eTrailer.com. And utilizes plate style safety chain loops. They are kind of a small opening, but should accommodate most safety chains. It features a 1,000 pound tongue weight, and that's the force going down on top of the receiver, and a 10,000 pound gross towing capacity, and that's how much you can pull behind it. If you're using a weight distribution system, that's gonna increase your tongue weight to 1,200 pounds and your gross towing capacity to 12,000 pounds. You do wanna verify in your vehicle's owner's manual that you're not exceeding any of its towing capacities. Now I've got some measurements for you to help you when deciding on accessories. From the ground to the top and side edge of the receiver tube, it measures about 16 and three quarter inches. This is important when determining if you need to drop, rise, or raise shank in any of your accessories. And from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it measures about four and a quarter inches. This is important when determining if any of your folding accessories can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. We'll start our installation at the rear of the vehicle by installing our hardware into the frame. You'll need a spacer and a carriage bolt for each hole that we're going to insert these into. You'll take your assembly of carriage bolt and spacer, slide it through the opening in your frame and down through the hole. We're going to repeat that for the hole slightly towards the front of the vehicle from there. And then if we go up even further, you're going to see two holes here. We're going to use the hole that's closest to the rear of the vehicle and put our hardware in there. We'll repeat this exact same process on the other side. And now with an extra set of hands, we'll lift our hitch into position. You want to line up the bolts in the frame with the holes in your hitch. We'll now take the flange nuts that come in the kit and we'll thread those on to our bolts. Once you get one installed on each side, the hitch will hold itself into position, making it easier to install the rest of your hardware. And now we'll just install the rest of our nuts. Now we'll tighten down our hardware using a 19 millimeter socket. Now we'll torque all of our hardware to the specifications found in our instructions. And that completes our installation of eTrailer.com's Class 4 2-inch trailer hitch receiver on our 2013 Chevrolet Express van.